The students of Liberty High seem to have moved on from the death of Hannah Baker, but it appears we're going from one death to another as it has been confirmed that Bryce Walker is dead. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Matt Rogers and this is what we know about 13 Reasons Why Season 3. Now we are a few months overdue for a new season as the show is usually released before the American summer. But this week we got a teaser in the same one-shot style as the season 2 promo. We also got posters and a very close release date, just less than three weeks away. I was wondering what they'd do to draw interest back into the show, as last season's cliffhanger with the foiled school shooting isn't really enough to fill out 13 episodes. But now appears that they're leaving that alone and making way for a murder mystery. Although this teaser is a major spoiler, I feel it's the best way to build hype. I don't think I'm alone in saying that season one was such a great series in itself. But season two is more riding on the success of the first season and seemed like a bit of an afterthought. Which meant season three wasn't something I was too keen on, but this teaser has now piqued my interest. Who could it have been? Remember Bryce got that Chloe girl pregnant? What's happened with his unborn child? Who knows, maybe even Bryce killed himself. Surely not though, the producers had more than enough controversy surrounding the first season for romanticising suicide, so I doubt we'll see any more of that. Speaking of which, you may have seen that recently the producers tweeted this out. Quote, we've heard from many young people that 13 Reasons Why encouraged them to start conversations about difficult issues like depression and suicide and get help, often for the first time. As we prepare to launch season three later this summer, we've been mindful about the ongoing debate around the show. We've decided with creator Brian Yorkie and the producers of 13 Reasons Why to edit the scene in which Hannah takes her life from season one meaning the bathtub scene was cut down to not involve the actual act itself. I have to be careful though, Netflix has gone on a spree removing all videos from YouTube even referring to the scene. The most popular video on my channel, my season one recap, got taken down for that very reason. Even after editing that scene out, they came back again and took down the edited version. So all of the people flocking to watch the now deleted scene are gonna have a bit of a struggle finding it. Anyway, speaking of graphic scenes, the show is notorious for ending each season with a confronting situation. Season two was of course the broomstick scene. So we all know that Bryce is dead, but I somehow doubt that that will be the big shock seeing that we already know this. I guess it's anyone's guess what it could be. So let me know what you think in the comments. I do like that the 13 reasons why has now shifted to mean the reasons for Bryce's death. One of their posters saying everyone has their reasons. They also plug a new website, whokilledbricewalker.com, which allows you to contact the sheriff in a pretend live chat, supposedly giving you clues as to who did it. I've never been a fan of this type of TV show propaganda as it sort of ruins the suspense if it gives anything away. Now let's talk cast. No major changes apart from obviously Catherine Langford's departure, but we do have a new cast member in British actress Grace Safe playing Annie, who is rumoured to be doing the voiceover in the teaser. Anyone could have done this. 13 Reasons looks to be her breakout role, so hopefully she proves to be a nice addition to the cast. She is looking a bit shady in that bathroom there, obviously there's more to her story. We still have a few weeks to speculate as the release date is set for October 23rd. But one more thing. On the show's social media they have now confirmed that this will be the second to last season. Season 4 being where it all ends. Surely this season must lead somewhere to vouch for a fourth season. Surely they wouldn't repeat season 2 and season 4 and follow the court proceedings of this murder. But what are your theories for the season? My theory is that Clay is the obvious person of interest, but too obvious, so I think we should ignore the subtle nods to him being the murderer. But I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments. Now I have more reviews and recaps coming up, so make sure you ring that bell to get notified for that and more things 13 Reasons Why. But until then, thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button. And if you subscribed during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.